Stay back. I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. You're right there behind the tree. There's no use in hiding now, human. Why are you here? Trying to sneak up on me, are you? <laughs> you like the music? Highly doubt that. All you humans are the same. You probably came here to destroy the things in the forest like everyone else. Why should I trust you? You're a medical healer for your town. You've come here to get supplies. Yes, I've heard that many times before. Humans come here to get supplies. They cut down all the trees, slaughter and steal all our livestock. How could you prove it? Your bag? Oh no, don't take a step closer. Don't doubt that I won't use my blade on you. Alright. You may approach me slowly. Slower. Don't make any sudden movements. You know what's good for you. <laughs> Let me see. I'll look in it. Hmm. You do have many bombs in here. Some serums. Some moonlight grass. No weapons on you. If you really are a healer, why would you come here? I know that we have many plants which offer many medicinal properties, but it's not very safe to come in here all by yourself, without a weapon. Yes, I suppose that. Not having a weapon would show that you are no real danger, but there's a lot of other elves here that wouldn't give you a second thought like I did. Why, why did I give you a second thought? Well, I, well, I don't really take myself for the kind of person that would just cut down a living being without a proper cause, even though you are human. <laughs> what do you mean, you humans are more afraid of us? We're the ones who have desecrated our lands and scorched our earth. We've done nothing to you except retaliate. That's besides the point now. If you really are a healer, then you're here for helping others. I shall help you look for your supplies. Well, I'm going to help you for one, because you're not armed, and I know that you won't be able to harm me. Second of all, if another elf does catch you, you won't be so lucky. Well... It's not that all we elves hate humans, per se. We're just very... wary of them. As I'm sure you know, humans haven't been the best to elves in the past. So, we've had to be very careful with how we've interacted with your kind. But, despite my initial reaction to you, I do see good in your heart. So, what do you need to look for? Over there, beyond the far patch of trees, there are some lunar berry bushes that I'm sure will be of use to you. They're ripe and filled, so you'll have plenty. Yeah, come, I'll show you. <sighs> oh, come now, I'm not going to hurt you. Here, look. I threw it in the grass. We're both unarmed now. 
No one's going to hurt anyone. Really, come on, I... I do have my own knowledge of some medicinal plants which I think will help you. You spend a lot of time in this forest. You pick up on a few things. Some things which I don't even think you're aware of. And if you really do want to help people, I suggest you listen to the things I have to say. Come on. Come along. I may be willing to help you, but I'm not very patient. Right, right over here around the bound. See, here we are. I wasn't flying. Yes, they are ripe. I told you they were. Here, let me help you. You have to be careful of the thorns. No. Careful. You're going to poke yourself. <laughs> what a day this has turned out to be. Well, for one, I never expected to come across a human. <laughs> and most importantly, I never expected I'd be helping one. Well, I suppose I trusted you rather quickly because we all do have a good intuition. You can kind of see when people are lying based on how they react to things. A sixth sense, I suppose. It's not that I can, like a lie detector. I mean, people can still lie to me and get away with it, I guess. Probably shouldn't have told you that. But I can tell you have good character. And not to mention you don't have a weapon, so I'm... <laughs> I think the odds aren't really stacked against me. And even though my people are wary of yours, I know there are still good ones. Good humans. And if you're one of those good humans that are trying to help others, then... I should help you too. Oh, you pricked yourself. Yeah, they're on your thumb. You're bleeding. Here, follow me. Well, there's a stream over yonder. We want to wash that out. Moonberries are well, helpful for fevers. If you're scratched by the thorns, you could get a rash. And the rash isn't very pleasant. I would know. Come along. Besides, there's some togwood trees by the river. I think you'll find a use for the sap. Well, togwood has been used for, by ourselves for many years. It has many uses. The sap, while well, being good at disinfecting cuts and wounds, is also great at soothing the skin. The bark can be used in teas for the stomach, and the leaves can be chewed, and are great against many poisons. Here, give me your hand. Oh, I just want to make sure it's washed off properly. Moonberry thorns are very tricky. They really get into your skin. By that I mean the venom that they give off. If you got a thorn into your skin, that's a whole other matter. There. The tugwood is right over here. Yes, it's this one. Oh, you've never seen them before? Well, they're not really well known by your people. They mainly reside over on this side of the forest. So I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know about them. But quite frankly, they're not really much to look at, which is probably why they're not well known by humans. They don't look so mystical or magical. Rather plain, but they're very useful. Here, give me one of your vials. I'll help you collect some of the sap. Oh, you're, you're welcome. I must say, it's nice to run into someone. I spend most of my time in this forest, tending to it, caring for it. And it can get a little 
lonely in here. You may have been an unexpected visitor, but I'm happy that you came all the same. Here, the vibe. I filled mine already. I'll click some leaves for you while you continue to fill yours. You humans are rather clumsy, and I assume <laughs> sometimes you eat things that you shouldn't, so these leaves will be of use. Oh, yes, I did say the bark can also be used, but be careful where you take it from. You want to use the bark that looks rather old, more brittle. If you chip up the bark that's new, it won't work as well. Right here, you can open your satchel, I have some to put in for you. There's uh, perhaps something else that you came looking for. I kind of took you on this tangent. I'd hate for you to leave without getting what you actually ventured here for. Oh, got most of it already. Well, I'm happy that you did. How about I, um... I'll escort you back to the edge of the forest. Well, yes, as I said before, if you run into any other elves, they probably won't be as kind as me. And besides, I'd perhaps like you to come and visit back. If I let you go now and you get maimed or killed in the forest, you won't be able to return now, will you? No, I must say, I'm rather s impressed with how brave you were by coming in here. Not many humans venture into the elven forest without, well, returning. Not to mention, many of them just don't want to come in in the first place. Hmm. Well, I'm happy that you did. You know, I just realized I never really told you my name now, did I? Guess the first thing I did when I met you was threaten you, so there wasn't much room for introduction. Well, my name is Alina. What's yours? Hmm, it's an interesting name. I don't really know if I've heard many humans with that name. Or perhaps it's because I don't know many humans in the first place. <laughs> I've seen you staring, you know. <laughs> at my ears. It's alright if you look at them, I won't be offended. I must say, it's interesting to look at yours too. They're so rounded and peculiar looking. Fascinating, I suppose. <laughs> can I move my ears? I can. Can you move yours? No. Really, you can't. Interesting. <laughs> well, here we are. It's the... as far as I can take you through the forest, otherwise I'll be leaving Elven territory. If you ever visit again, try to stay to my part of the forest. Not many people visit, even elves, in that part. It's kind of just me to myself, so you'll be much more safer. And you might even run into me again, if you so wish. I guess I must apologize for how I acted to you earlier. While I had a reasoning for my actions, I didn't even give you a chance to speak before I pulled my knife on you. Wasn't rather polite, now, was it? No, no, really, I am truly sorry. I hope you don't think too ill of me. But I um, do hope you return. Be nice to have a visitor. 
and I hope you find use for the things that I showed you. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Until we meet again.